All right, so for this next part, what you'll need to know is some information about DNA. So we'll just draw our DNA out. Um, DNA looks like this squiggly thing you see in many science type videos, I'm sure. And so these all represent different base pairs. So maybe pink isn't the greatest. Um, this is, these are all base pairs. Now, an A is represented by the pink, and we'll just do a couple more. That is going to match up with um, a T, and this A represents adenosine, and it's a nucleotide found in our DNA. And same with T, that represents another nu nucleotide. And we have two other nucleotides, G and C. Um, the names are not super important to know. Um, it's not going to help you. But, you know, there's an A, A. You need to know which ones match up with each other. A. And then if we were to go, you know, this one has to be T. 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 T. Because they all match up. And then so that would make, you know, whatever. We'll just do this one's a G. This one's a G. And this one's a G. So then that means this has to be a C. This has to be C. So you get how... Oh, one right there. You get how they um, match up with each other. Now, so in DNA, what happens... In order to replicate, and we need like our cells and proteins made, whatever have you, the DNA needs to be separated because something has to come along and read this. This little uh, molecule will come over and read it, but it needs to be open. It can't read the outside. It can't read the outside. So what we do, separate this. I'll just get all over. Oops. So then we separated it. So this little little thing can come by and uh, read it. There's also directions. So this is this is the directionality you need to know. So the RNA polymerase again the name is not super important here this little molecule is going to come by and read this it's like a little code for it and then it's going to make another molecule in this direction and it reads from five prime to three prime and so then that makes this now these things are called strands this makes this the template strand because it's like um, we have to pair opposite bases to this bottom strand, so it's gonna look like the top strand. And that's in DNA. Now RNA is different because we're going to use these same bases, but we switch this T with a, a U. And so what this looks like is we'll just copy this, paste it down here. Oops. So we want to make our new strand. Get rid of this, get rid of that. What our new strand will look like is we'll need one, two. So then we look at this little T here. Okay, what does it need to be matched up with? Well, it usually pairs with an A, as we saw up here, the DNA. So that's the same. It's still going to pair up with an A. So we've got an A here. I'm going to look for other T's. We've got another A there. Another A there. And right here. So we want to match up the, the A's. Now we have to match them up with a U instead of a T. So then we got another U there. And then we'll do the C's. 
so there's C, there's a C, and then last we'll have the G. All right, so then we have this new strand we made, and that's what it looks like. So then we can just get rid of this old strand, our coding strand. We'll put that right up here, coding. And now we have our new RNA molecule here, our, our new strand. And this will translate into codons used to make an amino acid. So this ACU is going to tr be translated into an amino acid, part of our chart. Um, and this is A, or sorry, oops, AUA. All right, so now I've included this codon table. And what we're going to do is we look at this one here. A, C, U. So what we're going to do, we go to the first letter here, and it's an A. So we're looking here. Second letter is a C. So we go to the second letter, C, and then we're going to go down this column, over in this one. So we're looking in this box. Let me go to our third letter. So it's a U. So then we're going to go straight across and we have ACU right here, and the corresponding amino acid is THR. So basically this ACU corresponds to THR. There's our first amino acid. Now we want GAC. Again, we're going to erase this and go through it. So G, G this box and then we got a right here so we're gonna go down to this box and then third letter C we got this one right here so that corresponds to ASP so our GAC corresponds to ASP and last one AUA so we got A U and A and if we look, A, U, and A is right here, and that will correspond to the I, L, E. It's a little bit difficult to distinguish one, but that is basically how you translate DNA to an amino acid sequence.